Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, come on in, put your feet up, get yourself comfortable and just enjoy. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, of course. And everything I'm using will be listed down below. I'm showing you here and I will throughout the video as well. But, you know, just in case you want to work alongside me and use the same products but you don't need to use the same stuff you know you can use anything you want any color anything and of course i'm using nail sugar decals because they're just they're amazing and diamond dust because it's just it's got to be in everything really isn't it <laughs> so i'm going to be doing it on tips today and i'm going to do two nails with two coats of white and as I always say with this, it's really, really important that you do them in super thin coats. I've got barely any product on my brush here um, because if you put too much on, it's not going to cure and it'll just wrinkle in the lamp. And then when you come to take it off, it's uncured product. It's not good. And it can cause allergies as well. So I can't remember the name of this. I just showed you anyway. <laughs> so kind of peachy nude. And um, I'm going to do three nails with this on it. Again, I'm doing two coats. I look like I'm attacking that nail though when I've sped it up a bit for you. <laughs> so I'm going to use two sizes of the, the rainbow decals. And the bigger one I'm going to cut in half, like so. And I'm going to use my clear stamper and a wee jar of water and a wee brush. And just wet in the back of that decal. <clears throat> Sorry. Wet in the back of that decal. Hay fever is kicking in, by the way. <laughs> is anybody else already dealing with this? What is going on? Anyway, um, I'm just using my, my clear stamper just to press them onto the nail. And it's perfect because you can see exactly where you're, you're going to put it. And yeah, it's just, it's easier doing it that way. Now I'm just going to put all the colours that I'm using on the palette. Sorry, I had a wee itch in my nose there. Um, so yeah, I'm just putting all these colours on my palette for use ready to go because we're doing rainbow pastel um yeah hay fever what is going on we're in march we get snow in march at times and it's been hitting nearly 20 degrees in scotland what's going on <laughs> we're not built for this <laughs> everybody's like what's that great big bright ball in the sky that's keeping us warm that's not normal <laughs> I'm going to use my fine liner brush from Madame Glam as well and I'm going in first with the green and I'm just going to make a squiggle, a wee squiggle. There's no right or wrong way to do this again. I know I say that quite a lot but I was literally just winging this and just seeing what happened because that's how my wee brain works. I've tried to like sit and plan them out but for some reason I just sit and wing it <laughs> the majority of the time that's what happens it's like let's just see what happens we're going to pick the colors i've got a concept in mind we'll see what happens and it's usually in my head what i want it to happen it doesn't mean it doesn't mean that i get it to translate onto the nails very well <laughs> i can i can only try though so there you go i've, I've put three of the squiggles on the top right and now i've went and done a squiggle but i've turned it back on itself and i'm just going to do more inside that wee squiggle i love that word squiggle <laughs> <laughs> so i'm just using all the colors just to yeah make a rainbow nail i wasn't sure about this nail i'm not entirely sure but what do you think do you think it worked I'm not entirely sure, but we gave it a go anyway. <laughs> like I said, they don't always translate well when I put them onto the nail. Um, but yeah, I was just going for a wee abstract rainbow nail. I don't know. <laughs> I have to say though, this really killed my hand. Um, I'm currently being tested at the minute because I've been having a lot of pain in my hands, especially my thumbs. Um, and as you know, when you're doing this kind of stuff, your thumbs play a big part in that because you're holding the brush and it was absolute agony to do this. But um, hopefully, they think I may have um, osteoarthritis. That's 
all my bloods and everything have came back normal. Um, so I had x-rays done this week as well. So we'll see what happens with that. But um, I'm just going to have to keep it till it gets better, aren't I? <laughs> I don't give up easily. Everybody should know that about me by now. I'm quite stubborn and I will keep going no matter what because, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, right, we're on to this nail now. now I'm going to do squiggles but I'm going to keep them quite uniform in this one so they're not going to be all over the place like the other one so I was going to do them a bit thinner and I thought no I actually want to do them a bit thicker so I've done the green the blue and now I'm going on to the this is the lilac so that's viola I'm sure and I'm just going to do three up here I did speed this video up quite a bit because it would have been like 40 minutes long if I didn't and yeah <laughs> So I'm going in with lemon pie at the bottom, right at the tip. And I'm just going to fill that tip in. Once I'm happy with that, I'm going to then go in with, I think this is spring in Paris. It's kind of coral, peachy coral. So I'm just going to do that one there. Can you imagine sitting here? It'd be like watching paint dry me try to paint these squiggles. <laughs> right, now I'm going in with baby pink. The majority of these colours are actually from the new... What ones is it? The macarons. That's the one. It's the macaron collection. So the majority of them are from that. Baby pink isn't. But I needed a, a, a baby pink, <laughs> basically. <laughs> So as I'm happy with that, I'm going to cure that in the lamp. And now I'm going to go on to the rainbow nails. So I'm going to do a rainbow, a pastel rainbow swoosh. So I'm starting off with green. Now what I'm doing in this nail, I will mirror on the other nail. So it'll be the opposite. So I'm just curling that round. And I'm keeping these quite thin on this one. There we go. We're almost there. I kept this bit in real time, but yeah, I, I was like, I can't, I can't just leave this in real time. <laughs> so I'm going in now with violet. No, it's viola. It's not violet, it's viola. Um, actually, these pop really nicely on a white background. Um, I, I kind of wish that I had done the white swishes before I'd went in with the colour on the other nails and um, because I do go in line round them um, but I feel like it would have worked better if I actually put the white down first so there's a wee thing I, I made the mistake so you don't have to <laughs> um, now I'm going in no that wasn't viola that was the blue the one before the one next to the green was the blue this one's viola what was the blue one raindrop so it was, is it Primavera? I don't, I think it's Primavera, then it's Raindrop, then it's Viola. I think that's what it is. <laughs> don't ask me to have a memory. Um, baby Pink's next. And as you can see, when I get to this side, I'm actually making the lines a wee bit thicker because they're moving closer to you. like so then I'm going in with spring in Paris I'm quite sure that's what it is if I'm getting them wrong it, it's okay because they're listed down below anyway and I've showed you them <laughs> I'm just guessing here <laughs> ah, there we go Rolo is currently at the side of my bed because I'm sat in my bed voice over in, and Rolo is currently sitting here well, he's climbing up the side of the bed and trying to get my attention right now. Finally, I'm going in with lemon pie and I've, sw I've swept it right round at the edge there so it's kind of filling in that gap a wee bit. There we go. So now I'm going to do an ombre. Now, again, I was winging this and I wasn't sure if it was going to work. <clears throat> Sorry. So I'm going in and I'm just doing small bits of each colour. But then I thought, I need to make this a bit wider. 
So that's what I did. I made it a bit wider. So I'm just going to go through all the colours. Now, the best way to do an ombre is whatever colour you're doing next should be close to the colour you're already using. So green and blue is quite good. Then the blue into the lilac, the lilac into the pink, the pink into the peachy coral, and then the, that into the yellow, and then again into the green. So they all work together. Um, you're better to do that than to put them in random order and they don't necessarily blend together very well. So this is just a really good way to get them to blend nicely. And I'm just using this brush because there was no point in me getting an ombre brush for something that size. I just thought, no, I'll just use this wee brush. Um, and I just do that down the entire nail and I will keep doing that until it's finished but I did forget to press record and show you the rest of it but I do get it a bit wider and neater it's not perfect but that's okay because we're going to do something to fix that <laughs> it does take a wee bit of time I thought I'll speed this up because you'll be here for a fortnight there we go. So like I said, I did the rest off camera because I forgot. Shh. <laughs> and for some reason, I never ma I never managed to get it very like centre. But we're just going to ignore that. <laughs> so I'm taking a long liner brush and some of the white, perfect white. I should have really used the gel paint because that would have been a lot easier for me to work with. But it, it did the job. It did the job. The thing is, we're going to cover this up with glitter anyway, so it's fine. When in doubt, cover it up with glitter. And when I'm doing longer nails, I know that this is on tips. If you're doing press-ons, you can you can do this any way you want. Like you can move your nail any way you want. It's a bit different with clients. Um, but I do find doing really long nails a bit harder. It's a bit harder for me to do. Um, like straight lines, but yeah. So that's that done. So now I'm going to go and go around each of these wee uh, swishes just with some of that perfect white. I'm using very, very minimal amount on my brush because I don't want it to ball up at the end and then you get that kind of fat blob on the nail. So I put minimal... Um, minimal oh, amount sorry <laughs> brain fart minimal amount of the perfect white on my brush just so it's enough because it's so pigmented anyway so it's it's yeah it worked so i'm just gonna do that in all of them i don't show you me doing it on the other nail because like i said it's just it's the same technique that i'm doing on on all the nails anyway um so yeah but it, it does make the colors pop a bit better i feel and kind of finishes it off a bit. It just needed that wee bit of white just to... Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I'm trying to keep it as thin as possible. Again, if you're wanting to keep it as, like, the lines as thin as possible, it's light pressure and not a massive amount of product on your brush. Okay. So once I've done that and I've cured that in the lamp, now I'm going on to this nail again and I'm going over with matte top coat. Then I'm going to use some no wipe top coat and I'm using my brush again and I'm going to go over just that ombre section. And I'm doing it from edge to edge, so from the white side to the other white side, so I'm covering that entire area. There we go. And then I'm going to take the diamond dust and I'm going to sprinkle it all over. There we go. And I'm just going to use a wee hard brush just to get all that excess glitter off. Now I'm going over this with some rubber base. Now, because it is a bit lumpy bumpy, you know me, I don't like lumpy bumpy. So I go over it with the rubber base because it's it's a thicker consistency and it'll get in between everything and I can buff it smooth um, on the first attempt. Um, I'm going to use just normal base coat over this. Again, the rainbow bit isn't very, it's not very raised and I want to seal in those water decals before I top coat. So I'm just going to go in and do that. Then I'll cure them all in the lamp. Once I've done that, I'm going to go in and 
file and buff these ones, the squiggles, and then this rainbow one, I just used the soft side of the buffer just to smooth it over. And I'm gonna just wipe off the, the wee bits and pieces that's on there. And top coat, and this will be it. We're all done. That's it. <laughs> it is a bit footery and it is a bit time consuming, but let me know if you like them. Um, on this one, I'm just going down either side of the ombre in the middle, the glitter ombre in the middle. Anyway, it's time for Scottish Word of the Week. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Scottish Word of the Week. And this week, I was requested to be a Finnick fox i think that's how you say it <laughs> i don't even know if it's a thing but look at me i'm so cute it's like ah, ah. <laughs> okay i'm gonna do a couple of shout outs so the first one's for tina wood and they said those nails and colors are stunning you're so creative and i laugh so much when you do scottish word of the week even the kids come and watch fantastic that's what it's all about i love it it's fun for all the family and if i can give you a wee giggle then fantastic i love it <laughs> this is so made my day thank you so much for sharing that with me and i hope that they all enjoy hello everyone <laughs> i'm also oh Wait, 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 to, wait till I find it. I'm also, <laughs> I'm also giving a shout out to um, Shafia. I think that's how you say your name. I'm really sorry if it's not. Um, Shafia had recreated the the flower nails that I'd done the other week there. And she put her own wee twist and colours and everything. And I'm so happy that you tagged me in this because they're so beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing them with me and for recreating my set. Beautiful. Go and give her a follow if you haven't already. She's over on Instagram. <laughs> right, let's get to Scottish word of the week. And it is sugarly. <laughs> Meaning something is wobbly. So whenever I had a wobbly tooth when I was a wee girl, I used to go, my tooth is sugarly. <laughs> or when you get one of those crazy trolleys that the wheels are all over the place, I'm like, this trolley's got sugarly wheels. <laughs> I think Americans call it a shopping cart. I think that's what it is. But yeah, if it's got wobbly wheels, they're sugarly. Anything that wobbles, it's sugarly. <laughs> So there you go. That was Scottish Word of the Week. And it was so good to give a shout out to y'all. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see y'all the next one. Let me know if there is something you would like me to be. Like this week, cutie. <laughs> see y'all in the next one. Bye! <laughs> there you go. I was a cute wee fennec fox. Yes. And if you heard my son screaming in the background there, I apologise. I did try and ask him not to, but yeah, he just gets so into it. <laughs> anyway, this is the final result. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a wee thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And leave me a wee comment and I will see you on the next one. Stay creative. Bye. <laughs>